Welcome to the latest Trots TV news update. I'm Amanda Rando. Talented three-year-old Salty Robin resumed at the trials this week. Trainer Shane Tritton confirmed that the Chariots of Fire is the main aim for the Group 2 winner. However, he's giving Salty Robin an early season campaign first before giving him a freshen up uh, targeting the ma major feature. Salty Robin has not raced since December last year, but looked all class leading throughout in his trial at Tabcourt Park Menangle on Monday, rating 157. Didn't clearly overcome Collect and Smoky Quartz and Fashion Miss, but as they reach the 200 metres, Salty Robin now kicks. It's Salty Robin about a length and a half to two clear on Come Collect, and then came Smoky Quartz, but down to the wire. And some nice work here by Salty Robin. Goes home to score and not really tested. And Got 26.8. On the topic of Team Trenton, Shane and Lauren are heading down to Victoria today with a team of nine horses. They have a few runners aimed at the Breeders' Crown Series, including the impressive Tingara Beach, which is racing in a semi final at Bendigo on Saturday night. The Sun Beach Somewhere Colt is a $1.20 favourite with tab fixed odds for his semi, following a strong heat win at Menangle back on July 12. Tingira Beach, Astridas trying hard. They're clear of Better Be Gold, but Tritton goes full ball now on Tingira Beach and it quickly gets two lengths now on Astride. Trying hard down the outside as Better Be Gold and they've got away then from Red Bank Blaze who's trying to raise another effort, but Tingira Beach is going to cruise down and win it. There are many other New South Wales horses aimed at the Victorian feature races over the next two weeks. And this Saturday night alone, there are 20 horses from the state racing at Bendigo. The Belinda and Luke McCarthy prepared Astride is one of the early fancies with tub fixed odds at $4.20 for his Breeders' Crown semi-final. The Bathurst Gold Crown winner will go head-to-head -head with the Mark Purden trained Pacing Major, who is the $1.65 favourite. New South Wales also has strong hopes in the Breeders' Crown graduate Mayor's Free For All with the likes of Miss Riviera Bell, Amaretto and Cyclone Kate, which is currently the $2.20 favourite following her very impressive last start victory in the Adore Me Stakes at Tabcourt Park Menangle. And Cyclone Kate has put up three or four lengths in the twinkling of an eye. 27-6 the split. It's well clear of Frith. Running home, Abby Cullen. Millwood Liberty's there on the outside, and they're clear of Ocean Diva getting to the line okay. But have a look at Cyclone Kate go. She's four, she's five in front. Millwood Liberty runs into second spot, but it's all Cyclone Kate. Cyclone Kate, much too good. Beats Millwood Liberty, maybe Frith third ahead of the fast finishing modern dancer. It is a photo. Young Rainsman Todd McCarthy is not far off achieving another milestone. The 23-year-old is just one win away from driving his 500th winner. Already with, a sh with strong claims in all of the New South Wales Drivers Premierships this season, the Group 1 winning driver brought up his 399th winner at Menangle on Tuesday on board Al Mel's Dream, which is trained by his father, John McCarthy. Lucan runs home with the dip on the outside of it, but it's still Al Mel's Dream, the leader. Trying hard in second spot now was Winberg Terror, and then came Lucan. Our White Knight darts back to the inside as finishing hard, but it's Al Mel's Dream in front with 50 to go, and Al Mel's Dream goes all the way to beat Winberg Terror, Our White Knight, Lucan fourth. The Group 3 Baby Bling Stakes is the main feature race at Tabcock Park Menangle this Saturday night. The tab markets are open for the race, listing Millwood Liberty and Katy Perry as the early picks at odds of $2.50 and $2.80 respectively. Millwood Liberty, or Big Bird as she's affectionately known, produced another grueling effort last week, fighting to the line only narrowly beaten by Excitus in the city. Just seemed to roll away from the inside momentarily, but balanced up in front of Monafreeth Saloon Passage is running to a dead end. Millwood Liberty and trying to get home through the middle as I am Mr. Brightside. It's finishing on. All eyes on us. Millwood Liberty getting to them all is Excitus in the city and trying to burst through Pop from the beach. Where do you look? Down the outside, Excitus in the city flashed at them all and got up to win it. That's all the latest. Thanks for joining the Trots TV news update.